ಈ ಜನ ಬಲ್ಲಭ ಗ್ರೀವರ ಯಶೋದನಂದನ ಬ್ರಜ ಜನರಂಜ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾದ ಸದ್ವಾಣಿ ಪ್ರಚಾರ 
नमो विष्णु पदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठा नमस्ते सरस्वती देवी गुरुवाणी प्रचारिणी निर्विशेष सुन्यवाद पश्चात दिशा ओम ज्ञान तुम्हें ज्ञानंजन श्राक चक्षी गुरव श्री चैतन्य मनोविष्ट स्थापित भूतले स्वयं रूपकदाहम ददा सुनाक वंदेह श्री गुरु श्री जुत पदक बल श्री गुरु वैष्णव श्री रूप सागर जात सागण रघुनाथ नितम तम सजीव सात सवदूत परिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्री राधा कृष्ण पाद सहगण ललिता श्री सख नेता हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधु जगतपते गोपेश कांत राधा कांत नमस्ते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुश्रुति देवी प्रणमी हरिपे वंश कल्प तरुष कृपा सिंधु पतिता पावने वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत शिव साधि श्री गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नष्ट प्रायशु अभद्रेशु नित्यम भागवत सेवया भागवते उत्तम श्लोके भक्ति भवती नष्ट के नाम संकीर्तन जैसे सर्व पाप प्रणसती प्रणाम दुख शमनम तम नमा श्री हरि परम प्रभु जी दे शेयरिंग द स्क्रीन सेवन प्रो सेवन पॉइंट टू पॉइंट फोर नाइन अथ नित्यम अनित्यम वा अथ नित्यम अनित्यम वा शक्यते कर्तुम नान्यथा शक्यते कर्तुम स्वभाव सोचता स्वभाव सोचता ट्रांसलेशन दोज हु हैव फुल नॉलेज ऑफ सेल्फ रिलाइजेशन हु नो वेरी वेल दैट द स्पिरिट सोल इज इटरनल वेयर एज द बॉडी इज पेरिशेबल आर नॉट ओवरवेल्मड बाय लैमेंटेशंस बट पर्संस हु लैक ऑफ सेल्फ लैक ऑफ नॉलेज सेल्फ रिलाइजेशन सडनली लैमेंट्स देयरफॉर इट इज डिफिकल्ट टू एजुकेट अ person in illusion A repeating translation those who have full knowledge of self realization who know very well that the spirit soul is eternal whereas the body is perishable are not overwhelmed by lamentation but persons who lack knowledge of self realization suddenly lament therefore it is difficult to educate a person in illusion purport shravan prabhu पॉर्पोर्ट थोड़ा पढ़ लीजिए मेरा थ्रोट तो डाउन हो गया कल हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण पर्पोर्ट बाई भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी श्री प्रभुपाद प्रभुपाद की जाए अकॉर्डिंग टू द मेवांसा फिलोसफर एवरीथिंग इज एटरनल मिथ्या एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू द सांख्य फिलोसफर एवरीथिंग इज मिथ्या और अनिथ्या इंपर्मनेंट Nonetheless, without real knowledge of the Atma, the soul, such philosophers must be bewildered and must continue to lament as sudras. Sri Sukadev Goswami therefore said to Parikshit Maharaj, "Srotavya dini Rajendra, Nrnam Shanti Sahasrasa, Apasyatam Atma Tatvam, Grheshu Grha Me Dinam." those who are materially engrossed being blind to knowledge of the ultimate truth have many subjects for hearing in human society o emperor bhagavatam 2.1.2 
for ordinary persons engaged in material activities there are many many subject matters to understand because such persons do not understand self realization one must therefore be educated in self realization so that under any circumstances in life he will remain steady in his vows hare krishna hare krishna so in this context yama maharaj is describing this he didn't know kashyap even our about the knowledge of so but he is not self realized he was allow he was aware about the science of soul he was aware that the person who is self realized who knows that he is eternal he being the spirit soul is eternal and non perishable which is perishable is this body abhinasi to tat vidhi jena shariram itam tata who is residing within this body is never perishable but this body is perishable so who lament and who doesn't lament? here also prabhupada in this connection explaining that those who lament what to speak of body they are not wise actually and they are called sudra here in this connection prabhupada clearly mentioned that those who lament they are called sudras those who are brahmana high class devotees they do not lament but on certain occasions they may say tear they may they express their grief but all such tears griefs is not for the lamentations in bodily connection of i and my the wise vaishnava or brahmana they only lament of spiritual loss hmm? spiritual loss might be for themselves or might be for the persons to whom they like so their lamentation is for the spiritual loss especially when a great devotee separates or disappears one should lament such association was very important and one can always lament for that and look forward such associations otherwise the lamentation asuchan anusachastu pragya vadam sabhas bhagavad gita says that which you should not lament which you should not oh, lament but which you should lament should know that uh, which is not to be lament is this um, body when it perishes there is no reason to lament if you are wise you know that the person is not perished the person is getting a better um, form um, and getting a progress even though some may degrade but he'll get another new body based on his uh, guna and karma by the law of cause and effect if you are with real knowledge of atma then you need not to lament so the knowledge of atma 
is very very important which which is not being taught in present modern science our bhakti vedanta institute especially uh, as directed by sri prabhupad to our guru maharaj that it especially focus on providing the knowledge of self realization the knowledge of soul the knowledge of material nature knowledge of super soul the knowledge of guna and karma laws of karma and the knowledge about space time so these knowledge are very significant when somebody is in full knowledge he will not unnecessary lament the purpose of human society is grossly forgotten once if sufficiently educated in the science of soul super soul metal nature uh, the laws of karma hmm? and space time curvature if one is sufficiently aware that the circumstances that comes in and goes out are just have some meaning and purpose these circumstances what is happening should contribute toward the progress of self realization toward realizing the relationship with god and toward realizing the relationship of the god which is called love called prayojana so the whole subject of sambandha if he, if one is able to reinstate himself in the sambandha that is called self realization then what is this sambandha this sambandha is neutral for yogis and tapasvis if they don't have a very personal connections so they remain in the neutral state even neutral state have personal connections yet they do not develop a you know specific relationship that remain in the state of uh, god and part and parcel of god ishwara jiva sambandha ishwara jiva sambandha if not added with special test a uh, friendly or uh, or parental or conjugal all servitude these are special rasa jar test milaus if not developed then it remain in neutral state so the whole idea is that when one sufficiently study the science of self realization under a, under a bona fide representation so he will be able to realize his relationship with god that is sambandha tattva govinda dev is sambandha tattva then one should take up the process of devotional service to be established in the sambandha and when one is sufficiently established in the sambandha by the help of prayojana by the help help of avidya then he get the essence of all this relationship with god a loving essence of devotional service and he releases the highest so those who are uh, determined to achieve the highest they get the highest if somebody um, is getting satisfied with the um, minimum or ordinary he will not be able to 
come to this high stage of devotional service. Anyway, this science hmm, of self-realization is not very easily understood by Gruhesu Gruha Medina. Why? Because they are not interested to cultivate Atma Tattva. Why? Why they are not uh, um, interested to cultivate Atma Tattva? Because they do not know the science of getting peace. Bhagavad Gita say, says, Nacha Abhavaya Ataha Santi Asantasya Kutaha Sukham. Sukham is the objective of every living entity. But they all are viewed. This is what uh, explained in this sloka. They are not educated about the science of self religion So they are remaining in illusion. So, Atma Tate Bimukhaya. Seeing it is very difficult to cultivate self religion or seeing it is impermanent, like uh, seeing it is like uh, um, seeing it is like what is that called? Uh, when somebody try to cultivate something or try to achieve something, mm. then he misutilizes scripture and brings in new definitions mm, to not only uh, convince other people, he also convinces, he convinces him, oh, that is wrong, this is correct. So that is the Mayavada Tattva, when one try to utilize his analytical ability to even delude himself and others, that is called Mayavada. He has the analytical ability which he can utilize in cultivating the true science of self realization But when he give emphasis to his objective of sense gratification, it will gradually pull himself to Mayavada. What is Mayavada? Mayavada is the thing which says that things are impermanent. Things does not exist. Everything is uh, everything is mithya or anitya. Mayavada. Even they say Lord is impermanent. Lord has taken a body like us. So Mayavada uh, is the interpretations specifically chosen or accepted by those people to establish their conclusive philosophy that facilitated sense gratifications. But Ishwara Tattva, the true philosophy to cultivate Krishna consciousness is for Krishnendriya Priti that only facilitate Krishnendriya Priti. So through Krishnendriya Priti, there will be Atmendriya Priti. Atmendriya Priti means though the Indriya Priti happens, but that is meant for the Priti of Atma. So mind also gets jubilation, body also gets jubilations hmm. with the various symptoms of love, like Romancha, Kampo, and Asru are three visible symptoms. Uh, a great practitioner of Krishna consciousness continuously observes. So that is 
the uh, real satisfactions of the senses, even though the Atma gets real pleasure. The Atma gets the real pleasure. This Sukha is not known to the persons in illusion. So there are two kinds of such things as mentioned here. One Mimansa philosophers, they say everything is eternal. And there are Sankhya philosophers, they also say everything is uh, uh, temporary, there are Nitya. So when they say everything, they also include spiritual element as a Nitya. Similarly, Mimansa philosopher, uh, they keep spiritual element as Nitya as well as material element as Nitya. So both of these Mimansa or Sankhya, they take up into sense gratification. So these things, like when one tries to utilize his knowledge for cultivating sense gratifications, he will be called as sudras and he will be deluded and he will not attain the ultimate objective. Nurunam Santi Sastrasa. They have lots of endeavor. They put all of their endeavor to attain peace or happiness, but the happiness in real sense is far away from all of them. That is because of their poor fund of knowledge, not only poor fund of knowledge, but also the lack of determination, the lack of practice, lack of association. So all these have some, uh, you know, uh, missing things that is called uh, uh, missing things like association. If association is not there from a bona fide sampradaya, uh, then even though their knowledge, uh, which they have worked so hard to get, uh, will not come in uh, real work. So all of our cultivations of knowledge, if we read uh, Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam, uh, and many other Puranas, mm. so Bahu Sastre, Bahu Vakya, Tattva Nahai. So there will be uh, many uh, illusion, many dilemma, many conflicts come in that persons when he reads so many scriptures and when he uh, practices uh, various streams of knowledge under various. Uh, uh, various uh, parampara or various fields, parampara or, uh, or aparasampradaya, wherever he, if he tries to collect knowledge here and there, what will happen at the end? That he will not get into the confusion. Hmm? And it will be conflicting in each other. Then what will he win in this case? Hmm? When there are, uh, suppose five things hmm, are coming for a single point, and that will be chosen which gratify the senses. That will not be chosen which will be uh, taking to Krishna consciousness. That is because uh, Indriyani Indriya Arthes. Guna Gunesu Bhartante Iti Matta Nasachate Karma Yoga Bhattu. Lord says Guna Gunesu Bhartate Iti Matta Nasachate the buddhiman, the intelligent person should know that senses will be always be in favor of sensual objects. So these uh, um, mind and intelligence will always take the side of uh, the uh, sense enjoyment. But one has to control that uh, buddhi yoga with the help of true intelligence that comes through the self-realization or surrenderness to Krishna, mm. one should control that mm. to cultivate the real pleasure to Krishna. Mm. Even though guna pulls to our guneshu, means metal lots of uh, three modes of nature, pulls to our mm. sense enjoyment, one has to control it. Mm. By practicing devotional service eh, daily, the knowledge of self realizations how it happens, nityam bhagavata sevriya. By 
regularly reading uh, and hearing Srimad Bhagavatam from a bona fide authority uh, and regularly serving that bona fide authority. Tadvedhi Pranipatena Pariprasta Sivaya. And inquiring all these subjects that are very much required for the progress of the very self, hmm. one should sufficiently inquire. There should not be a single doubt remaining in a debate. Hmm. So, Siddhati Hridaya Grati, Vidyati Chasya Karma, Drushtaya Vatma Nishwari. So that person is called self-realized persons. Self-realized persons, Srimad Bhagavatam say, is Atmani Ishwara. Drushta Eva Atmani Ishwara. She should be able to control his senses for the engagement of uh, satisfaction of the Lord. So, that time the Guna uh, defeated. Mahatmanastu Maam Partha Daibim Prakrutim Asrita. That time the three modes of material nature, which is controlled by Mahamaya, has no roles. That times, uh, Yoga Maya comes in picture to assist a devotee in the pastimes of Lord, to serve Lord, and to release the transcendental joys, everlasting joys, in a greater magnitude, which is unlimited in magnitude, and which is ever increasing. Ananda Amruti Vardhanam Pratipadam Purnam Rutaswadam. If we do not Take up this hmm, as the prescribed mode of practice of self religion We might get into this Mayavada, this Mimansavada, hmm, or this Sankhyavada, hmm, which is not the purpose of the teachings of Bhagavad Gita. So, one must understand that the purpose of Bhagavad Gita is to understand Lord Krishna as Supreme Personality of God eh? and to devote himself. And the ultimate knowledge is to surrender himself, eh? to devote himself, so that we will have eh, transcendental joys, everlasting joys, which we are looking for. We are looking for joys, but we must also take up the right path to get that choice. Otherwise, we will not get it. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much. Any question? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you. For your nice class. Yeah, if anyone is having any question regarding today's class, they can raise the hand and ask His Grace Akrad Parbarana Prabhu. Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. There are no questions. Anand Pranam, Prabhuji. Anand Pranam, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. So, <clears throat> very nice class. Nice to hear your realizations and insights. So, in the translation, translation. It says difficult, it says difficult to educate a person in illusion. This is today's 49, today right? 49, right? Sloka. Sloka. Maharaj, can you please repeat? Yes, yes, yes. Maharaj. Today is 49. Yeah. Mm, 49. 
it is difficult to educate a person in illusion yes so what is the way out yeah that that is what i was trying to explain that person in illusion will not be educated so the way out is that he has to be uh, taken out from illusion he has to be brought into uh, uh, the uh, in front of the sun jaha uh, krishna krishna surya sama maya andhakar jaha krishna taha nahi maya radhikar he has to be brought into krishna consciousness so that is the process guru maharaj gave us in bhakti vedanta institute uh, through the devotional services even a person who are interested in uh, cultivating the science of knowledge so he can uh, join us uh, in our bhakti vedanta institute research programs and gradually he can serve lord in by serving lord gradually his illusion will go away until he comes out of the illusion he will not be able to be really educated so uh, still he will be under that uh, uh, knowledge of anitya sansara jada vidya jada vidya uh, with uh, the vaibhav of maya he will be deluded so until he take up uh, the surrender next to krishna his educations will be uh, baffled because of so much moga samog karmanu moga gana vichita sa because this incessant desires of attaining this and that in sansara uh, is always baffled and his educations are all engaged in that illusion that's why while practicing this culture of self realization one need to come to krishna consciousness need to come to god consciousness so bhakti vedan they should facilitate that uh, and this krishna consciousness movement is having uh, complete facilities to even facilitate full time devotees who can completely dedicate themselves come out of this illusory sansara and engage in full time service of krishna consciousness so we in real sense those who are cultivating krishna consciousness can gradually come out of religion you know illusion um, because of continuous devotion to guru and krishna and they can really only be educated in krishna consciousness a person in illusion he may refuse to be engaged in service service or uh, do it yes, in right spirit yes that is correct a person in illusion like medicine is uh, you know uh, denied by the children so doctor or parents they uh, give some medicines with the help of some uh, some some sweets or sugar candy so similarly uh, expert devotees based on the guna karma of the people attract them to the service of krishna like guru maharaj attract this um, scientists um, these professors to conferences and seminars so they are uh, you know very much interested uh, for conferences and seminars when such topics of science uh, and uh, spirituality uh, in a in a framework of um, uh, conferences seminars uh, then they take it up that's why the jai jan of hare krishna sevada chatur this pure devotees of krishna they are very expert in engaging people understanding their guna and karma so based on their guna and karma they attracts people and engages them in the service of the krishna maharaj if you have better answer please explain i don't have better answer for better answer for me you have given the best answer the best answer thank you prabhu ji hare krishna hare krishna Hare Krishna Maharaj. Maharaj, you can see where I am sitting is going to be opened as a library on second uh, October Gandhi Jayanti day. Where? 
it is in uh, jajpur jajpur <laughs> yeah. already in our land something already built eh? land is there but this this is um, in the top of my house okay so i designed to be a library with video conferencing and classes so that our uh, devotees can give classes people can join in the video conferencing classes like that all public will be welcome every day for library for library i mostly those who are our uh, cultivating people they will be coming other public can come in a time specific time hari bol hari hari krishna hari krishna maharaj so inviting you all you can come on 2nd october to open this we will participate uh, by zoom <laughs> Yes, Any other yes, questions yes. or comments? Yes, Prabhu. Okay, our Shyam Chandra Prabhu is having something to say. Yes, Prabhu Ji, please. Hare Krishna Prabhu, uh, thank Hare you very Krishna, much for this class. Prabhu. Jai Shila Shripad Maharaj, Jai Shila Prabhupada. Prabhuji, can you explain Jai. this uh, uh, Mimamsa philosophy a little bit? Uh, of, of course, you touched upon it, but uh, when they say everything is eternal, can you just elaborate a little on that? So when they say everything is eternal, so there are two things. One is spiritual, other is material. So spiritual elements are eternal. material elements are not eternal but they do not uh, you know uh, they, no, they, they do not say that so they make everything as eternal so that is also another way of uh, mayavada which they uh, try to utilize for their own uh, you know establishment uh, of cultivating uh, sense enjoyment so my mantra that's what i tried to explain prabhu ji you have some knowledge you can so please give as a comment they consider body no 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 i i am asking you so does it mean that they are even considering body as eternal they don't say some body as eternal but they say that uh, this uh, material this world as eternal hmm. and uh many thing like um, even uh, i i don't have a uh, complete knowledge on that i have to go through you want the presentation i can bring and then you can explain further we have a presentation for that i didn't have enough time to go through that okay maybe offline separately you can share some thoughts on yeah, I, i need to know yeah, little bit on I, that I can present- present that to you offline okay. thank you prabhu correct thank you prabhu yes balram ji please uh, hare krishna prabhu ji hare krishna ji uh, uh, just a comment and a question uh, i didn't uh, uh, i think some people are going um i have uh, I, mean, uh, i don't remember uh, correctly but, uh, krishna, says, krishna says jeeva bhuta sanatana so this means jeeva as well as the elements the material elements those are eternal both are existing all the time but uh, there is some chance uh, isn't it correct isn't it correct Prabhu ji, you are commenting or you are asking? No, both. <laughs> so this uh, this is a Achita comment. Mera. The... 
have to follow the Achitya Vedavada philosophy. Uh, so that is called simultaneously one and difference. So you, what was your specific question? Can no, the you question is, question? Uh, is his comment correct or not? That is the question. <laughs> This is question as well as comment for the your answer to uh, Sam Sam Prabhuji. So you said Maharaji say the material elements are not eternal, but uh, I mean your Jiva uh, and Bhuta all are eternal. In one word, I can say what is scripture explains. Achinta Veda Veda says suppose you say about to Maya, so Maya is. Maya, if, it, if you say it is not existence, that is not correct. It is existing. But it is existing for a duration. So that we can understand in, in Achinta Vedavata. But Maya is not permanent. Or Maya is not impermanent. Both are not correct. If you say, no, impermanent is correct. Maya is non-existing is incorrect. Maya is uh, existing. It has a temporary duration until one come out of the mm, illusory mm, sense gratification to a devotional service of self-realization. He'll be affected by Maya. But when his uh, devotional learning or self-realization uh, get the perfections, he will be free from the effects of the Maya. Mm. That time he will uh, free from the temporary mm, uh, affects uh, or affinities of Maya. So Maya is temporary, but Maya is existing. We cannot say Maya is non-existing. So like that. So similarly, um, uh, like uh, if you say Brahma, Brahma is uh, Brahma Satya Jagan Mithya, right? That is Maya Vada says. Brahma Satya Jagan Mithya. Jagat Mithya means what? If, if Mithya is defined as non-existing, is wrong. Jagat is existing and Brahman is existing. So his presentation about Brahman is existing, but the presentation of Brahman is that everything Brahman. There is no Param Brahman. Even a Brahma can become Param Brahman. These are deluded. So these all, you know, Maya Vada as actually to facilitate uh, for sense gratification. This is this and that which to, you know, uh, prove uh, their, uh, their aspirations of enjoying the world. So it is not exactly sense gratification. It can be even to the gratifications of uh, buddhi or intelligence or ahankara. Seven uh, layers are there, right? Ahar Nidra Bhai Machuna Lava Puja Pratishta. Seven layer. Anywhere it can fit, or it can just fit into the Ahankara, satisfaction of Ahankara. Or people will uh, worship me as God. Uh, like so many people, they claim to be God. So they take off this kind of, you know, uh, confusing philosophy and they put two people into the confusions and uh, illusions which is very directly written in all Shrutis. All scripture says very directly these things, but they misinterpret it. So the, the main point is that, see, all these Prakriti, Jagat, Kala, all these present in Mahatattva. Even though they enters into the body of Mahavishnu, they present. So they manifest based on the ikshan or desires of Mahavishnu. So that means they only manifest and non manifest uh, based on the desires of Mahavishnu. So we cannot say they are, are non existence, but their appearance dis and disappearance are temporary. That is the one word. Their appearance and difference, disappearance are temporary. However, souls is eternal. Thank you. Yes, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.
Anyone else is having any further question? If so, please. Hare Krishna, bro. Dhanwad. Dhanwad, Pranam Maharaj. Abhyakta Bhakti Maam Panna Manyate Maam Abhudhaya. Yes, that is the correct sloka. It's their sloka. Which I just said. So, my question is, the Alpha Buddhi and the Salpa Buddhi. Salpa Medhasa. What is the difference between it? अन्य देवा देवी जो आर्द्रना कर रहा है वो लोगों को सर्पम में दशा कहा रहा है और जो निराकार हम्म भगवान का रूप नहीं आकार नहीं ये जो मानते हैं अव्यक्त आरूप को तो वो लोगों को भगवान कह रहे हैं कि बुद्धि नहीं अबुद्ध है अबुद्ध है मतलब बुद्धि ही नहीं कुछ भी तो ये दोनों में क्या फर्क आप बताइए इसको देवता लोग को आर्द्रना कर रहा है तो आपको बुद्धि बता रहा है उधर बोलो है बुद्धि नहीं है तो ये दोनों में क्या फर्क है व्यक्तम व्यक्ति में आपन्न मन्यते में मापते हैं सो दो अबुद्ध में से दे आर ऑन इंटेलिजेंट पीपल who understand that uh, I am uh, abhyakta, but I have taken a uh, uh, body, vikti, apan. So, and what was your first uh, sloka, the first question? You're comparing two things, no? One ah. is unintelligent people. Abhudhaya. Sarpa Medhasa. Sarpa Medhasa, yeah. Sarpa Medhasa, Abhudhaya. Less intelligent, yeah. Sarpa Medhasa is less intelligent people and another is Abhudhaya. Both are actually in connections of same thing. So those who are completely unintelligent means completely deluded or with a poor fund of knowledge, with little knowledge. It is said that little knowledge is dangerous, right? So with poor fund of knowledge, they also give lots of uh, misinterpretations. Both are actually in same platform, whether little knowledge or absolutely uh, no knowledge. Maharaj, you have the answer, you can please explain. So, Alpa Buddha Matlab, ये लोग थोड़े बहुत बुद्धि है जो कि आकार को देख पा रहे जैसे सूर्य चंद्रा ये सब अन्य देवा देवी को रेस्पेक्ट दे रहे ये लोग मुझसे श्रेष्ठ है हमसे श्रेष्ठ है बल्कि वो ग्रहण कर पा रहे लेकिन परम श्रेष्ठ जो है वो देख नहीं पा रहा है परम नियंत्रण को देख नहीं पा रहे तो इसी कारण वो लोग आपको बुद्धि कहा गया बुद्धि है लेकिन स्थापित नहीं है बापू ने बुद्धि नहीं है लेकिन जो लोग कहते हैं सब निराकार है निर्विशेष है ये जो मानते हैं वो लोग ब्रह्मा दीत्यनास्ति बात हम सब भगवान हैं हम से दूसरे कोई और शिष्ट नहीं है ऐसा वो लोग मान रहे तो इसी कारण वो लोग को बुद्धि ही ना माना है मतलब वो लोग के पास कुछ भी बुद्धि नहीं वो लोग के पास कुछ भी बुद्धि नहीं यही फर्क है देवा देवी का जो लोग आराधना कर रहे हैं वो लोग को थोड़े बहुत थोड़े बहुत बुद्धि है बोलके भगवान स्वीकार कर रहे हैं इतने ही फर्क है any other comment, Maharaj? Comment out, okay. Comment out, okay. Okay, Sravan Prabhu. Ha, Prabhuji, we can conclude. Jai Grafras, Srimad Bhagavatam ki. Jai Grafras, Vishupat, Jai Srimad Samavita Samastha Vaishnava Vaishnavi Maharaj Bhakta Bhakta Ki Jai Gaya Gaur Hari Hari Gaur
His Grace Akrad Parmanand Prabhu ki jai. Thank you all for joining. See you all in tomorrow's class. Hare Krishna.